Uh, breast milk is said to have antibodies, proteins, and fats that are good for newborns. It is also beneficial for a mother's health, but what about moms who can't produce enough milk or who have adopted a little one? Some turn to strangers or the internet, which can be risky. The 19's Patty Santos with what you need to know and the options for those in need. Some call it liquid gold, nature's perfect baby food. I did a count. I've donated 1,700 ounces so far. Hey, look. <gasps> Wow, look at Sarah Delgado has chosen to share Olivia's breast milk with other babies. It's a lot of hard work and a lot of love that I do for my own baby, and I love being able to pass on that gift and that blessing to other families. Uh, and I just keep them in, in bags like this. She overproduces, pumps, and freezes the excess. The mom I mainly donate to, she adopted her baby, um, so she obviously was never able to produce breast milk. Six months ago, she connected with a social media group of mothers across town. Texas, mothers with babies in need of breast milk or who want to donate their own. A quick web search shows breast milk can be purchased online, but selling and purchasing it for money is banned on the sites Delgado is on. The Food and Drug Administration has warned people about milk trading websites. That's because there's an increased risk that the milk could be contaminated by drugs, disease, or bacteria. I would ask about medications. Myself, I would want a lab work. I would want a lab panel yeah. done. I would want an HIV test. If breast milk isn't handled and stored properly, it could be a safe to drink. Lactation time. specialists and nurses Kay Banis and Dana Ryherd don't argue the benefits of breastfeeding. And while milk sharing has always happened, they urge recipients to do their homework. Be careful. They say watch the baby's behavior after they drink the donated milk. It's going to be a sleepy baby or a baby not breathing well or being too sleepy to eat and then jitteriness. The FDA actually urges mothers not to feed their babies, donated milk from other people or over the internet. But many milk banks, including the Austin Milk Bank, screen and test donated milk to ensure its safety. Sick babies are their priority, but it can be purchased for healthy babies at $4.65 an ounce. The milk is safe in the freezer for up to a year. The milk collected at Northeast Baptist Hospital is shipped to Austin's milk bank to be processed. I keep in like five ounce bags and Delgado says sharing her milk is something she doesn't regret. If anybody's considering donating, definitely look into it. It's an awesome thing to do. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. The FDA says moms should always talk to their doctor if they're planning on feeding their child breast milk from another source. The safest bet is to go with milk banks that screen milk. We have more information on how to donate to the milk bank on KSAT.com.